So today we are learning about ladybugs. This is our next animal that metamorphizes. We are going to see that process of metamorphosis, the stages that it goes through at it, as it metamorphizes in this book called Ladybugs by Gail Gibbons. Ladybugs are really neat, and you're going to see a couple of reasons why in this book. I just before we start reading, I wanted to point out that we are studying wetlands right now, and we can find ladybugs in wetlands, but we can also find ladybugs in the other two biomes that we studied in Utah too, in deserts and in forests. All right, so this is Ladybugs by Gail Gibbons. A flower gently sways in the breeze. A small bug is looking for food. It's a ladybug. Many ladybugs fly and move about looking for food. They eat aphids and other insects such as scales and mites that are harmful to plants. A ladybug is a beetle. A beetle is an insect with a hard outside covering and two sets of wings. Do you remember what we learned that hard outside covering is called? An exoskeleton. Very good. The hard outside of an adult's ladybug's body protects its soft insides. Here is a diagram of the ladybug's body from the side. So male ladybugs are generally smaller than female ladybugs. Like other insects, a ladybug's body has three main parts. They are the head, we learned about that right, and then behind the head is the thorax, and then the back Part is the abdomen. And then how many legs does an insect have? Do you remember? An insect has six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, insects have six legs and arachnids have eight legs. Okay, and then up here, do you remember what these are called? These are the antenna, and they are used for touching, tasting, and smelling. All right, here again, we can see the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And here we see the two sets of wings that the ladybug has. So there are these hard outer wings that protect the, the wings that they used to fly with. And then these are the inner wings that they actually use to fly. Those are pretty delicate, and so they have these hard outer wings to protect them. Delicate means that it could get hurt or broken pretty easily. Different kinds of ladybugs. So ladybugs can be many different colors and sizes. Some are as small as the head of a, pin, of a pin. Others can be as large as your fingernail. Most are some size in between. So here I'm gonna quickly show you different varieties of ladybugs. So this is the seven spotted ladybug and this is the most common kind in North America where we live. This is the two spotted ladybug, the four spotted ladybug, the yellow spotted ladybug, black two dotted ladybug, mottled ladybug, and banded ladybug. And then here on the next page we've got a few more. This is a spotless ladybug, an orange spotted ladybug, an ash gray ladybug. This one's like black and white except for its yellow legs. And then the last one is this black 
three spotted ladybug. Ladybugs live on six of the seven continents. Many scientists believe there are about 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs around the world. They also believe there are about 475 different types of ladybugs in North America. The four stages from egg to adult ladybug. So this is the metamorphosis process, okay? How they metamorphize. So the first stage is eggs. Ladybugs mate in spring and summer. A ladybug finds its mate by scent rather than sight. About one week after mating, the female lays her eggs. The female lays her yellow eggs in a safe, Place. There are plenty of aphids that her young will eat as they grow. The ladybug may lay between two and one hundred eggs. The female leaves her leaves after laying her eggs. Usually the, the ladybug actually lays her eggs on the underside of a leaf where it is protected from being they're protected from being seen by predators that want to eat them. During the next week, the eggs turn from yellow to white. Can you find the eggs now? Yeah, there they are. So now they're white. After a few days, the eggs are ready to hatch. The thin shells begin to split open. The ladybug larva crawl out. They eat their eggshells and begin eating aphids. So here we see the ladybug larvae and they are yellow in this picture. The ones in our habitat are mostly black with some yellow spots and then they eat these over here which are the aphids. One larva can eat about 30 aphids in a day. A larva eats so much that its outside covering becomes too tight. The outside covering splits and is shed. A new larger outside covering takes its place. This is called molting. Some of our larva have been molting and I have seen the little outer shells that they have left behind in our habitat. I will see if I can get a good enough picture to share with you in one of our upcoming ladybug habitat videos. The larva continue to eat and get larger. It may molt three more times before it's fully grown. After molting for the last time, the larva attaches itself to a safe place using a sticky liquid at the end of its abdomen. Do you see it attached itself right here to this, to the stick? So there's, there's our larva and it attached itself to this twig right there. So then it starts the third stage, which is pupa. The ladybug larva is now called a pupa. Outside, the covering of the pupa is becoming hard. Inside, the ladybug pupa will continue to develop. It will not eat or move during this time. Then it moves into the fourth stage, a ladybug. Now the ladybug pupa begins to split open its hard covering. Head first, the ladybug pulls its body out. The ladybug's body is pale and soft and has no dots. Its body slowly hardens. Its two delicate, transparent inner wings, which will be used for flying, extend to dry. Then they slip back under the hard outer wings for protection. In about one hour, the ladybug is ready to live a ladybug's life. Dots begin to appear. 
ladybugs crawl around more than they fly. Soon the adult ladybug opens its hard wings and unfolds its flying wings. The ladybug itself, the ladybug lifts itself up in the air. It will spend its life going from plant to plant, eating aphids and other insects. Danger! A ladybug has many enemies, including birds, frogs, and other insects. It has three major ways to defend itself. Its bright color is nature's warning to others that this insect may be poisonous or just taste bad. When a ladybug is attacked, its leg joints ooze a yellow fluid. It has a terrible smell that keeps enemies away. A ladybug will also pretend to be dead and then the predator will lose interest. Remember, a predator is something that wants to eat it. Ladybugs must protect themselves from cold winter weather. Thousands of ladybugs find a safe, warm place, such as under a rock or nestled under leaves. Some ladybugs fly to warmer climates. Like other insects, ladybugs are cold-blooded. Their body temperatures are controlled by the air surrounding them. They become active again when the temperature rises to about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Gardeners and farmers have always been against insects that damage their plants and crops, but they appreciate ladybugs because they eat plant-damaging insects. In the late 1800s, many crops in California were attacked by destructive insects. Farmers were desperate. When lots of ladybugs were released into the fields, they ate the destructive insects. Within a year, crops were thriving again. When farms became larger, farmers began to use poisonous pesticides to kill plant-eating insects. With time, some farmers realized that those pesticides could be bad for the crops because they damaged soil, polluted water, and were harmful to wildlife, including ladybugs. Today, agriculture experts are finding safer ways to protect crops, which includes using ladybugs again. Organic foods are grown without using chemicals. Many plants have ladybugs helping them to become insect free and to grow into delicious food that we can eat. Ladybugs are beautiful to look at and interesting to watch, but they are also important insects that help the environment. Here are some more interesting things about ladybugs. It takes about 3,000 ladybugs to protect one acre of plants. An adult ladybug can eat about 100 aphids and other tiny insects in a day. A ladybug's inner wings beat 85 times per second. Ladybugs can fly about 15 miles an hour. Ladybugs are also called ladybird beetles. Ladybugs can swim. Some ladybugs have no dots or patterns. Depending on the kind of ladybug, some can live for about a month, while others can live to be two years old. So that's the end of our ladybug book. Now you are going to go play a board game where you get to practice looking at the different stages of the ladybug's metamorphosis and naming those different stages. Okay, you have a great time with that and make it a great day.